Big changes as the Canada Emergency Response Benefit expands eligibility to include those earning under $1,000 a month, seasonal workers, and those who have seen their EI benefits run out. Maybe you're a volunteer firefighter or a contractor who can pick up some shifts, or you have a part-time job in a grocery store. Even if you're still working or if you want to start working again, you probably need help in making ends meet. These changes were promised last week, with the federal Liberals acknowledging that the CERB would need adjustment to help enough people during the COVID-19 economic crisis. The Conference Board of Canada today said it expects Canada's real GDP to drop 25% in the second quarter. That dip has been harshly felt by Canada's gig workers and artists. A survey from I Lost My Gig Canada estimates that over $11 million in gig income has been lost so far. People have lost their entire livelihoods and it's not like they have a storefront where, you know, in three months, if there's some help with rent, they can recover. They are talking about long-term relationships, and we don't know yet the economic impact of this and how long it will go. Jesse Aguilo assembled the survey for I Lost My Gig Canada and emphasizes that this data is coming just from the first week of the crisis. Today's expansion of the CERB is a boost, but Aguilo says there are still those falling between the cracks. I actually know one artist in my building where I live. She makes $1,050 a month and fear she's going to be ineligible for this program, the, the launched announcement, the expansion of CRB, because she makes $50 more uh, than the limit, and she's not willing to let go of that money. Now, the PM did say that the federal government is looking at providing specific support for people working in the arts, but Aguilo says rather than a specific arts support program, she'd prefer to see a universal basic income where everyone qualifies, regardless of criteria. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.